Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley, and today I'm going to talk to you about violent felony offenders of special concern. VFOSC. A lot of people just say VFO. There are approximately 19 crimes listed in the statute. I think it's 94806. Um, things like murder, sexual battery, rape, arson, um, aggravated battery, um, bomb cases, you know, things that are, that are serious. Um, you can be, if you're convicted of that and you're placed on probation for any time of your sentence, you're likely to be labeled by probation as a violent felony offender of special concern, VFO. And that can have a huge impact. Why? Because if you're on probation for, let's say, aggravated battery, maybe you were in a bar fight and you, you, you hit your opponent over the head with a bottle of beer, Budweiser, right, right over the head, and you were convicted of that, and you are on probation. Well, if you're driving down the street, driving down the road, and you're pulled over by police, and you happen to be driving with a suspended license because you forgot to pay your parking ticket, guess what? You're not entitled to a bond. On a normal felony case, you'd be entitled to a bond. You can ask. Um, but if you are a violent felony offender of special concern, you're not entitled to a bond. The judge has to have a hearing to determine whether or not you have a willful violation. Then he has to have what's referred to as a danger hearing. Pretty much sounds what, like what it is. Are you a danger to the community? If you are, you're not going anywhere. If you're not, the judge has to have written findings that you're not. So being a violent felony offender of special concern should be of concern to you. Now, let me give you an example of something, right? Because I talked about murder and rape and arson and bomb explosives. What about what about the typical New Yorker, right? I'm from New York. What about the typical guy that's got a baseball bat or some brass knuckles or, you know, some something, I don't know, his golf club in his hand. And he says, I'm going to break your friggin' legs, Right? Or someone's in a car and there's road rage and there's a conversation. Man, oh, I'm going to run you over. Guess what? That's aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. It's a third degree felony, right? It's the lowest of the felonies in Florida. It's a maximum of five years. If you have that charge and you're convicted of it, whether you do time or not, or you could even get a withhold of adjudication and still be labeled this, right? So violent felony offender. Well, what if you're on probation for that ag assault? I'm going to kick the shit out of you. I'm going to, I don't know, whatever. Like you got a stick in your hand, right? Makes it aggravated assault. Remember, assault, folks, in Florida simply means that you're threatening to do harm. Doesn't mean that you did anything. Doesn't mean that you hit the guy across the head with a bat or you broke his kneecaps. It doesn't mean that. Assault means that you are verbally attacking someone. You're telling them that you're going to do harm to them. I'm going to kick the shit out of you. I'm going to beat you with my golf club, whatever, right? So let's say you have that. You're placed on probation. Conviction withhold really doesn't matter. And you're driving and you get a suspended license and the cop takes you in. Guess what? You can't get bond. You can't automatically be reinstated. The court has to have a special hearing. First, they got the you know the state's going to say, "Hey, he's a violent felony offender of special concern." Boom! That means no bond for you. That means doesn't matter how great a motion I write, doesn't matter what arguments I make, doesn't matter if you got babies at home, if your wife's relying on you, if you got you know sick animals, sick family members. Guess what? Doesn't matter. The judge cannot give you a bond. He has to have a hearing. Right. First, he has to determine whether or not you had a willful violation. Two, he's got to determine whether or not you're a 
violent, you're, you're, well, I'm sorry, go back. First, yes, the, the, whether you're designated as a violent felony offender. Two, whether or not you had a willful violation of your probation. Three, whether or not you are a danger to the community. It's called a danger hearing. And it's just like what it is. You picked up a new crime. Are you a danger to the community? You picked up driving while license and suspended. I don't know. Maybe because of the pre-existing case, maybe you are listed as a as a danger to the community based on the facts of of the underlying case. Obviously, driving with a suspended license, you could be as crazy as it sounds. If you continue to drive, and you, maybe this was your your second or third violation, and you're driving with a suspended license, you could be a, deemed a danger to the community. The court makes that determination. But without making that determination, you're not going anywhere. This is no quick flip. Your 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 mom, dad, brother, sister doesn't just reach out to you know your your criminal defense attorney and go, hey, can you get them reinstated and boom, 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 and you know, 48 hours you're back out. Nah, it's not gonna happen here. Violent felony offender cannot be given a bond unless the violation is simply of monetary concern. So for instance, you're on probation for whatever your charge is. There's 19 charges that qualify as violent felony offender and you don't pay your probation or you don't pay your restitution and you're behind. That's the only time that if you have that designation that a judge can can give you a bond or reinstate your bond without going through this whole process. So violent felony offender, special concern, better be a special concern to you. Right. You wouldn't even think. Right. Aggravated assault. I'm going to kick the shit out of you. I'm going to hit you with a bat. Like and everyone said that when I lived in New York, I'll bash your face in. Blah, blah, blah. But guess what? In Florida, if you threaten someone. It, it can be a, it's a crime. If you threaten somebody and you have the means to harm them, like maybe you have some sort of weapon, maybe you have a beer bottle in your hand, maybe you have a gun. Maybe you have a knife, maybe you have brass knuckles, maybe you have nunchucks, maybe you have a bat. Whatever the case, aggravated assault, a third-degree felony, is deemed violent felony offender. So you got to go through this process. I'm attorney Roger P. Foley. I hope this helps you a little bit to understand the statute and the meaning. Thanks for listening. You got a charge, the situation tense You need an attorney for criminal defense Call R.P. Foe